Hi everyone. So today we are going to solve chapter number 11 angles from book 3 and 3b. So let's start with the definition. So here is the definition of angles. The amount of turn that returns when two straight lines meet at a point. So this is called angle. We have three different types of angle. Number one is acute then obtuse and then right angle. So acute angle is an angle that is smaller than right angle. Obtuse angle is an angle that is greater than a right angle. And what is right angle? An angle formed when two lines met in an upright position see perpendicular lines. These lines. This is called the right angle. So when the angle is smaller than the right angle it is obtuse. It is acute and when the angle is greater than the right angle it is obtuse so we have three different types of angle the three types of angle are acute is smaller than 90 is smaller than 90 obtuse greater than 90 and right angle which is exactly at 90 degree this is the smaller this is the greater and this is right angle so let's start from book 3 from book 3 page number 237 we have a question here find the number of side and angles in figure so here we have the sides are 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 4 sides and the angles are 1 2 3 4 4 angles same as it is page number 238 here again we have to how many sides and angles are there in figure B so there are 1 2 3 4 5 5 sides and 1 2 3 4 5 5 angles same as it is we have 6 sides and 6 angles 1 2 3 4 5 6 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 sides and 6 angle. Page number 239. Here we have which of the following pair of sticks do not form angle. So angle C is not forming an angle because there is a gap between them. Look at the letters below. Which letter do you have any angle? Don't have any angle. So letter U is don't have any angle. How many sides and angles does each shape have? Mark the angles in each shape. So first we have to mark the angles in each shape. And then 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 sides and 4 angle. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 sides and 4 angle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 sides and 6 angles. Here we have to write the names of acute angle, obtuse angle and right angle. So this is obtuse angle because it is greater than 90. Acute because it is smaller than 90. Obtuse right angle because it is making the angle like this. Acute, acute, obtuse and acute. So this is the explanation of a chapter number 11 from book 3. Let's start the explanation in book 3b. Page number 99. Here again we have to tick which of the following forms an angle put a tick in the box only which forms the angle we have to put a tick in that so this is an angle it is also an angle this is also an angle these three are not making the angle because there is a gap between them page number 100 here again we have to mark the angles in each shape and fill in the blanks so first we have marked the angles the corners of the shape are called the angles and sides 1 2 3 4 5 5 sides and 1 2 3 4 5 5 angles 4 sides and 4 angle 3 sides and 3 angle 4 sides 4 angle 8 sides and 8 angle 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 4 sides and 4 angle now here on page number 101 we have right angle. Mark and write the, down the numbers of right angles in each, each shape. Use the right angle tester to help. So this is a right angle. One right angle only. This line is not a right angle. Four right angles. 
three right angles and two right angles these corners the lines straight lines these straight lines always make the right angle like this 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 is not a straight line this is also not a straight line so these are not a right angle page number 102 show two times when the hour hand and minute hands make the right angle draw the hour hands and minute hands on the clock face below so here at 3 o'clock and at 9 o'clock the clock shows two right angles here you can see the angle between them is right angle number 3 look at the picture below mark all the acute angles in the figure so in this figure we have only two acute angles page number 103 here we have to write the name acute obtuse and right angle after looking at the picture so this is an obtuse angle this is an acute angle because it is smaller than 90 look at this this is 90 and it is in that side so this is a smaller acute angle and this is obtuse angle on page number 104 we have mind workout here we have to draw a shape with one right angle two acute and one obtuse angle so here you can see the shape is having one right angle two acute angles so here you can see two acute angles one here and one here and one obtuse angle so this is the obtuse, obtuse angle like this number b a shape with two acute angles and two obtuse angle so here you can see the shape if we read the shape from this side like this so we have two acute angle and if we read the shape from this side from the upper side we have two obtuse angle page number 105 on page number 105 we have a review when we draw a house mark all the angles in the drawing and fill in the blanks so here we have marked the angles one two three four these all are right angles then these are the simple angles and then again right angles because the straight corners always make the right angles how many right angles are there so one two three four five six seven eight eight right angles how many angles are greater than the right angles two angles are greater than right angle how many angles are smaller than right angle two angles are smaller circle the letter that has the most numbers of right angles so angle alphabet a is having the most letters of right angle last page of chapter number 11 page number 106 here again we have to fill in the blanks by marking the sides and angles so here we have one two three four five six sides and one two three four five six six angles here we have three sides and three angles here we have five sides and five angles so the numbers of sides of figure is always equal now here we have look at the angles inside the figure below group the angles so first we are grouping acute angle we have a c and i c and i are the acute angle we have right angle a a is a right angle d is also a right angle and g is a right angle obtuse angle b it is greater you can see e E is also greater F F is also greater and H H is also greater so these are the angles acute right and obtuse so this is the complete explanation of your chapter number 11